So before we get in and actually begin using this, I'm gonna explain what's new with Nano Banana. Also, what the hell's up with that name? It seems ridiculous. And I promise I'll go through this real quickly because I know you wanna see it in action. Some of the main things to mention here is we have single prompt based editing. So we basically tell it what to change with natural language, such as like adding a bookshelf and it will actually add it to the image. We could take an existing image that we have or we could have it generate an image and then add things to that generated image if that makes sense. Next up, this is probably the most important part. Character can consistency is phenomenal. So essentially, we could basically either upload an image of a character or generate an image of a character and make edits to it or create different images from that. And it keeps that character consistency that a lot of these other image models just don't have. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean in this video. Next up, we could actually blend multiple images together. And it's very good at doing that. Not only is it good at having like character consistency, but it's good at like merging together photos and keeping you know, specific parts of an image and then merging that with something else. Next up, we have a lightning fast output. I'm talking like two to five seconds for it to actually generate an edit and give an output to you. It's pretty mind blowing. If you use ChatGPT, image generation takes forever. This is extremely quick and blows my mind, honestly. Next up is we have real world knowledge from Gemini. So our image model actually understands things. You could say, hey, I want you to generate an image that looks like it's from the Roman Empire time and it will pull images from the Roman Empire and understands context and whatnot. All of these things together makes this a really impactful image generation model and it's by far the best I've seen. So I'm excited to show you what I mean now. All right, so I'm inside of Gemini here and I'm gonna show you exactly how easy it is to begin using the Nano Banana image generation right now. First of all, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give an example use case right here. I'm basically gonna upload this image that I found of this guy and his dog. So here is this image and what I'm gonna do is I'm literally just gonna say, replace the dog with a lion. So I'm gonna come to Gemini, replace this dog dog with a lion, literally going to give it a prompt as simple as that. And look at how quickly it's able to actually spin up an edit of this exact same image. Boom. And just like that, that was about five seconds. Look at this image here. I'm going to pull up a before and after so we can see exactly how similar it is. All right. So we have a before on the left-hand side and we have an after on the right-hand side. This is basically the exact same image. And this is why the new Google Nano Banana image generation is actually mind blowing because the character consistency and the consistency in being able to edit an exact photo is pretty crazy. So next up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to a new chat here and I am and I have a fun use case. So I actually was just on a trip in Portugal. I got some of these amazing film photos. All right, so here are some of the film photos that I actually took when I was in Portugal and watch me make edits to them. So first of all, let's take this image right here of me with this little backdrop and I'm gonna basically completely change this image and make the background as if I were from the Roman Empire times. So I'm gonna upload this to Gemini. I'm basically going to say, take this image and make the background the Roman Empire. Again, I'm giving it a super simple prompt. And basically in like five to 10 seconds, we're going to get an output here of this insane edit. And make sure to say to the end of this video, because I'm going to break down exactly why this is so game changing and how it's going to change everything. So here we go. We have this same exact image here, but now it looks like I'm, you know, looking at a backdrop that is the Roman Empire. One of the things that's really cool about this is it actually has this knowledge that Gemini actually has on the world. So it's able to understand what is the Roman Roman Empire even look like. So it pulls all this context from there and is able to make these changes to our images. All right, so here's another use case. I have this photo of me holding a Diet Coke. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this to Gemini and basically say, take this image, but replace the Diet Coke can with Diet Pepsi. All right, so I'm basically telling it to taste, take this exact image and replace the can to a different style of can. And just like that, we have the exact same image, but instead of me holding a Diet Coke can, it's instead showing me holding diet Pepsi. That's pretty crazy. All right. So next up, I'm going to show you how this could potentially be the future of models and how we actually portray, you know, clothing and different products online. So here's this image of this girl wearing this red dress. I'm going to upload this here. And I also have this image of this light blue dress that I actually want to make this model wear. So I'm going to upload this image as well. Come to Gemini and basically say, take this image of the model wearing the red dress, but instead make her wear the blue dress. So it should basically change this exact image but make her wearing that blue dress. And just like that, we have this image. The character consistency is spot on. Here is the image of the generation that we actually created. And then let me show you the image that we actually, you know, uploaded here. So we have the exact same model. She looks exactly the same, same pose and everything, except she's wearing this dress that we actually uploaded. And then from there, what I'm gonna say is, great, now take this image and show her in a different pose, in a different angle. And there we go. We have that same exact model and the same exact dress, but now, 
out there is a different angle of it. Let's just say, take that same exact image, but I want the background to be light red colors. Boom, guys, there we have it. This is pretty mind blowing when we really think about it, because now we could begin making images with insanely good character consistency. And this is gonna change e-commerce and the way that we think of, you know, photo shoots and models and product marketing, et cetera. All right, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this Mr. Beast thumbnail and I'm gonna try to recreate the exact same thing with an image of myself. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna upload it to Gemini and then I'm gonna upload it with this image of myself. And I'm basically gonna say, take this thumbnail image of Mr. Beast and replace it with this exact image of myself. All right, so here's what it gave us. It's not perfect. You can see it just overlaid my face on top of his. You can still see a little bit of his face behind, but that's pretty cool. If I can make a change here, it probably will fix it. This looks good, but remove the headphones behind my head. It doesn't look right. One thing I wanna mention here, guys, is as you've seen in this video, the edits that it takes, it only takes like five to 10 seconds max. It's really, really fast. And this is pretty mind blowing with how quick it is. And it's a massive improvement compared to something like ChatGPT image generation. All right, so there it is. It's still nothing crazy, but I guess we're testing the capabilities in this video. All right, so another use case that I thought of is I'm actually moving in about a week. And here is an example of what the living room looks like based on the Zillow listing. So I'm gonna upload this image and basically say, take this image of this living room, use the exact same furniture, but I want you to make it even more cozy. So let's see what it could do here, just to give me an idea of how I could potentially decorate this and make it feel more like home. And there we go. This is actually a pretty good idea. So it has candles here. You can see it has some other lamps. It has these lights here. It's got these soft neutral colors. This looks much more cozy than this original image that I gave it. Let's just say make it even more cozy. I want it to be so cozy that I want to take a nap. Think of this if you're trying to design the interior of your home. This is potentially going to replace a need for having an interior designer. Here we go. This looks even more cozy. I mean, the second I sit on this couch, I'm going to want to take a nap. So that's pretty cool. All right. Now I'm just having fun with this. I told it to add me on the couch and it went ahead and added this. That's pretty fun. Instead, I want you to make it a cozy drink that I'm actually holding. Pretty funny. It looks like I'm actually holding, I don't even know, some glass mug or something that is, you know, probably coffee. That's pretty hilarious. But guys, this is a new Google Nano Banana. I've only had access to it for about the last hour. So I want to show things that I've been able to do with it. Hope you got some value from this video. I'm going to leave a link to try it below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thank you for staying to the end. See you guys in the next video.